been all over, covering events, talking to people, and talking to myself, aka vlogging. Now I'm headed to the London 2012 Olympics, and I'm taking you with me. I'm Cassidy Quinn, and welcome to London 2012. Do, 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 Cassidy Quinn. This is the last few hours inside the Olympic Park while it is so quiet before millions of people start flooding in here tomorrow for the official beginning of the London 2012 Olympic Games. Everything here in the park is starting to look very official and very ready to open up to the public tomorrow. There's lots of security gates set up to make sure no one goes where they're not supposed to. Lots of maps to make sure everyone knows where they're supposed to go. Lots of signs to make sure everyone knows where they're supposed to go. Lots of signs. Beautiful pink and blue chairs for other games makers to sit in to direct the traffic of the spectators. Garbage and recycling bins complete with empty bags that will probably be full of garbage or rubbish as they say here tomorrow. Sandbags to make sure everything stays in its place. One of them leaked. The cops are ready. Lots of press stationed everywhere. Up there is the BBC Olympics studio. Everything needs to be clean. The flowers definitely need to look pretty. Everyone needs water. This part doesn't look quite ready. And everyone's putting on the finishing touches to make sure everything is perfect for tomorrow. And of course, the final rehearsals for the opening ceremonies are taking place before the whole world watches on television tomorrow. Can you hear it? So that is what the Olympic Park looks and sounds like less than 24 hours before thousands of people flood in for the opening ceremonies and the games begin. See you at the games.